hello guys and welcome back to my channel so today we are doing a 2023 easter basket idea video this is going to be a candy free idea video no candy whatsoever if you've got toddlers that's probably why you're watching this video um but we're not doing candy this year for easter at least from us i'm sure he will get it from other people but i don't need any more candy in my house so I've got a lot of ideas here for you. Um, not everything shown in this video today is specific to his Easter basket. Some of them are just ideas for you that I think would be great um, fun activities or fun toys, fun sensory things for an Easter basket. Um, a lot of the stuff I did purchase to put in his Easter basket and then he saw me walk through the door and he snatched it all up. So he's gonna get an Easter basket from his Nana and his Aunt Jacka. Not from us, because he already got all the stuff. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first item, books. Books are great for any sort of gift ideas for children. We have reached the stage where we're kind of moving past the board books and the touch and feel books and more like story time books. I love Dr. Seuss um, and Grayson does as well. I actually got both of these at Goodwill. Um, for like $2.50 each, which is a good deal for these. Um, and plus Goodwill, they always have discounts on, on different days. So books are a really great option. Check out your local Goodwill, check out your local thrift store. Um, you can usually find some good kids books there. So whatever kind of thing your kid is into, get some books. Those are always a great, great option. Next, we have these um, basically little dry erase books. This one is the alphabet, this one is numbers, and they both came with a little dry erase marker. And it's literally just like they trace the numbers, they trace the letters, they learn the different words. Um, these were only $4.99 each. I got them at TJ Maxx. Still currently work there, just for a couple more weeks. Um, but I think these are a super fun, um, basket idea. They're bright and colorful. They'll probably be excited about it and it's an educational um, gift as well. So I think that's super fun. My kid has so many toys guys and I'm yours probably does as well. Spoiled, absolutely rotten. So whenever I have the opportunity to get him like educational things, everyone else is buying him toys. So he's getting a gift basket or an Easter basket from his grandma, his aunt, probably his grandpa usually brings candy. So the kid has got enough toys and will be getting plenty of candy from other people, I'm sure. So mom here likes to do educational things. <laughs> I try at least. Anyway, um, TJ Maxx is great for pretty inexpensive uh, gift ideas as well for kids. Next, we have just a coloring and activity book. Your local Dollar Tree, guys, they've got some good stuff at the Dollar Tree. This was $1.25. It's a pretty thick coloring book. And believe it or not, like Grayson actually does enjoy kind of sitting down and coloring. Not for a long time, but he does enjoy this. And if you're not into coloring books, I have another option for you. Um, these are some of my favorite things ever. They are um, paint with water books. So they come with a little pen. Obviously all of ours have been used. They come with a little pen. You fill it with water and essentially they just color the pictures with the water pen. And once the pictures dry, it turns back into this white page again. So you can use it over and over and over again. So I've got the bluey one, which he actually picked out. This one was from Walmart. I think I did link it in my Amazon storefront. And then again, a really great place to buy these water books are TJ Maxx. So I got this one here. This was $6.99 at TJ Maxx. Um, this one came with the pen, of course, and the little magnifying glass. Um, so they can, again, color in all of these pages. And this one in particular, um, you can use a little magnifying glass on this stuff and it has like different shapes and, and pictures and stuff. And this one just has more pages. So they had a really cute little girl one too with princesses, 
which I was so excited about. I just have a little boy right now. Um, but if you have a little girl, run to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, and try to find these Water Wow books, the little princess one. So cute. And again, you can use it over and over and over again. And then also I got um, these two, which this one is currently out of the package. So I'll kind of show you what it looks like. Um, this one is the alphabet and it has like of course pictures of animals on it and this one here is numbers and shapes so comes with a little ring and literally they can color in the little square here flip it and they can also trace the um, numbers and letters on the other one and then fill it in I think this one actually has colors too so like this one is the color pink and then once you fill it in it's gonna be a pink flamingo which is so fun that way they can learn animals colors shapes numbers all of the things and then I think these were both $6.99 each so super fun you can reuse it over and over and over again um, and if you want to actually take it out of this box and put this in the Easter basket I think this would just be like the perfect size for an Easter basket okay Moving on, let's see here. Um, he needed some socks. So socks, underwear, that kind of stuff. I don't know, I feel like kids still get excited about that kind of stuff, or at least mine does. Um, he really needs actually some new underwear, some briefs. Um, so I'll probably get him some of those and those theoretically would have gone in his basket if he didn't already see all of this stuff. But socks, underwear, still, I think, a fine idea to put in a basket. Next we have Squishmallows. I don't know about you guys but we love Squishmallows in our house. This size is perfect if your kid is in daycare and they're allowed to bring a pillow or something with them to daycare. This size is perfect. So Grayson um, is currently not in a daycare which I'll probably talk about that in another video, but when he was in a daycare, he was sleeping um, with this buzz at nap time every day. And if you're looking for something smaller, they do have these little sizes, which are just so fun. So you can get these, I think pretty much anywhere. I pretty much always get mine at TJ Maxx. Um, Walgreens has a pretty good selection too, surprisingly. And then I think Five Below is like notorious for having Squishmallows, so. Squishmallows, good option. The next thing I got him was this Play-Doh kitchen. So I got this from TJ Maxx for $9.99. Um, Walmart has a pretty good selection of Play-Doh toys, as well as um, if your Dollar Tree has upgraded to like the $3 and $5 section, they actually have a pretty decent selection of Play-Doh items too. Or again, TJ I hate to brag about TJ Maxx because I am quitting, um, but I have worked there for nine years and we do get good stuff. <laughs> so that's why, you know, that's what all the hype is about is because we actually get good stuff for good prices. So anyway, I got the, him this Play-Doh kitchen. It makes cupcakes, cookies, donuts, and he is obsessed with Play-Doh right now. Um, and I'm I'm fine with it. Like he he picks it up pretty well. Our dog has eaten a couple pieces and then we, you know, get upset about it. Um, but I think Play-Doh is, is fun for three-year-olds. Um, and if you're not wanting to do like a big set like this, you can just do like little individuals. I think these are like 54 cents at Walmart for each one. So these would be like a good filler item to like kind of fill in the basket. Okay, next. So we have um, the Melissa and Doug easel, like the, um, it's like a dry erase easel and it's got like a chalkboard on it. And then it's got on the top, it's got where you can add this like roll of paper and color. So he actually loves that and we ran out of rolls. So I got these from TJ Maxx for $7.99. Listen, I'm there for 45 hours a week or more. And so I do wander over to the toy section pretty often <laughs> um, every day. <laughs> and I, I see what we get in because um, we do have good prices. So anyway, this is a good filler piece as well. 
um, something more practical that they will be able to use. Next, bubbles. Spring is coming and I don't know about you, but my toddler loves bubbles. So his Nino actually got him this bubble leaf blower. It's so much fun. You don't have to get them something quite this large, um, but anything bubbles, just the small little tubes of bubbles, the, I mean, just go to, I'm telling you, go to TJ Maxx, look in the toy section, and you will find lots of little bubble guns, just big containers of bubbles. Kids love bubbles, and it's a great activity to get them outside when the weather is nice. Um, he actually... <laughs> He's been playing with this in the house and um, I had to take it out to the garage because um, <laughs> it was a mess. Great outdoor toy. Um, next, we have these little like squishy ball things. So um, Grayson is too young to technically be diagnosed with ADHD, but we think that is what is going on with him. Um, so, these little fidgety type toys are really great to keep him occupied, to keep his hands busy. You can again get these at TJ Maxx. Um, we got this one at Walmart. It's just a few dollars. So a great little filler item and they come in a little box. So again, good to kind of fill up the basket. Next item I actually had in my gift ideas video for Christmas, but I think this is a great Easter basket idea as well. Not necessarily the huge box that I have here, but the Picasso tiles or the magnet tiles, um, they have so many varieties and variations of the magnet tiles. Um, and a lot of them will, whoops. A lot of them will come in these little boxes. And I think that would be a great idea for an Easter basket. However, this is the one that we have and he loves it. So um, definitely a great tool for um, playtime, great toy to keep their mind busy and occupied and help them to be creative. And then the last item that I have for his basket, and then I will show you like Easter egg ideas, um, are these little gujitsu, um little squishy characters. This one was from TJ Maxx and it was a Buzz Lightyear and it was um, the Zyklops from um, the Lightyear movie. This was $10. Unfortunately, they are both MIA. We've been looking for them all morning, but I do have a couple examples to show you. So we do have the Zerg and they're just like whoop, squishy, stretchy, um, again, if your kid has like sensory stuff going on, this would be a great option, I think. And then we have like the Iron Man. So we've got a, a collection growing um, of these little squishy guys. You can take them out and put them in the basket or you can just do this little packaging here. Okay, so that's really everything that I have for an Easter basket, of course, you can always buy like small little trinket toys. Walmart actually has a good selection of like little Hot Wheels, little trucks, um, that kind of thing. I, for the girls, they have little tiny Barbie dolls, little little things, um, knickknacks. But I feel like everything that I've just shown you, we actively use often and um, I don't feel like it's just clutter. Although we do have lots of that too. Anyway, um, so in our house, we do the Easter Bunny. This is, you know, totally up to you, but we do. Um, anyway, I don't, I didn't want to just get him candy again because we don't, he, he gets hyper like most kids with candy. Um, and I know that he's going to be getting candy from other people. So I found this super cool um, egg pack. Um, it's a 12 pack of eggs. It was $12.99 at TJ Maxx and it's got all sensory items in it. So on the back here you can see pictures. It's just gonna be like all of these like squishy type ball things. Um, just really like sensory stuff 
instead of candy it's got like the big gold egg as well so i was really excited when i saw that um i kind of dropped the ball last year on the actual eggs and i kind of just wound up putting some random crap in there but i feel like this is stuff that he will actively like want to play with again i think the sensory stuff is so fun for the kids anyway that is all I have for today's video. Thank you guys for watching today. Comment down below if you have any other ideas for the other parents watching, parents or aunts or uncles or grandparents, whatever, anyone who's watching this video, if you have ideas for them on Easter basket ideas, comment down below. Share, share your knowledge with us all. Um, anyway, that's just what I've got for Grayson. Again, he's three. And I think all of this stuff is, is age appropriate and we actively use this kind of stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.